What's up guys, my name's Luke and welcome back to Motion and Design. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do this like slow motion golf shot. So I got inspired by Man vs Machine, they did a similar render where a uh, golf bat comes in, goes slow motion and then like hits it off. Um, and I wanted to do something with that so I kind of created a loop with that. But I'm not going to show you guys the whole loop, it's mainly the first part that's the actual interesting part. So the main reason I wanted to do a tutorial on it is just because you're able to get a really cool effect and I've had quite a few people ask me how did I make it but it's done really simply. Uh, you could do it in a way where you actually are using dynamics um, but for the shot that I was doing I didn't need to use dynamics. Uh, but yeah if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how we could do it dynamically uh, using like simulated grass then we can I'll figure out how to do that. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'll just show you guys what I did. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Cool, so I've got a scene set up over here. I've got some grass, which is just downloaded from like Mega Scans. It was a bunch of little, just little bits of grass. You can just go into Mega Scans, search grass, and then download some of those. And that's what I have over here in my scene. Um, I also have my ball over here, and I've got a let me just zoom out a little bit. I've got a golf club over here. So let me just show you what it looks like now. Golf club clubs in, hits it and goes off like that. So this is all just uh, keyframed animation. If we go over here, we can see that there is, ah, there we go. So here's the animation. It's all pretty much linear. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are interested, it's, I mean, it's very simple. I mean, with the golf club over here, I just have a null over here and all it's doing is just spinning on the Y axis. So really fast and then slow. Uh, same with this, uh, same with the puck over here that just, when it hits, then I just kind of keyframed it. Very simple, same with the ball. Uh, yeah, that's, I wouldn't really do a tutorial on that because I mean, that's just, you know, keyframing it. Uh, and all of them are just linear keyframes, so it's quite easy to get that. But what's actually cool is how we get the grass to like move up. So let's start with that. Let's go over here, add in the plane. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Something like that should work. Cool, so let's go over here, grab a cloner, take out grass. And let's put it in the cloner. Cool. And over here, let's change this from grid to object and set the object to this plane over here. Uh, I'm not too sure why every single time I use a cloner, it always puts it this way. Uh, it's really annoying. I don't know if any of you guys know a fix to that, but yeah, every single time I use a cloner, I just throw a minus 90. It's not really a big problem, it's just more an annoyance. Uh, let's go here, change it to multi-instance and set this to maybe 200. 200 should, be, should be fine. Let's actually just make this a little bit thinner. Like that. That should be good. Cool. Um, should we make it... Ah, no, it's just fine for now. Let's maybe make it 300. Okay. Cool. Let's go over here, go into our MoGraph effect and plane. Let's set this to 200 over here on the Y. And then let's add a linear field, make it plus Y. And I think you can kind of see where we're going with this. So let's make it something like that. Something like, something like that should be fine. And then let's go over here. Then let's look at our golf club. Um, actually, we can make this a bit smaller because And at about here, let's go over here, set a keyframe and go to about there and have this come in like that. And just also keyframe that there. So let's see, cool. And then over here at about 90 frames, we want this to go like that. So yeah, that's pretty much the look that we're going for. And then I think over here we can just set it 
to go a little bit more forward like that. Cool, so that looks cool, but it doesn't look great. But all we need to do now is add a random effector. Is that a random effector over here? Set this to about 150, 150. I don't know, let's see how it looks. Let's set uh, 360, 360, 360. And then in the random effector, let's use this field. So now it'll both be effected and let's see what that looks like. Ooh, and look at that. Looks very dynamic. But uh, one thing you'll notice is that it kind of stops over here and that doesn't look very nice. So an easy fix for that is to go over here, go into effectors, add another plane effector, set that to 100, and let's add another linear field. Let's make it the same size as the previous one. And then let's go to about like 70 over here. Set a keyframe. another keyframe and then when it goes off then we shoot it across and let's see what that looks like yeah look at that now you're able to get a really cool goal shot just by doing those simple tricks and so now the whole reason that I didn't need to use it dynamically is because of the way that I did the camera where I'm kind of following the golf bat over here and so yeah so let me just do a scene breakdown of the rest of the scene over here. Uh, let me go over here and get Octane running. Cool, so it's a pretty simplish scene. Uh, one thing that I thought was really cool was to get these trees over here. So the way that it goes is that uh, it comes in, it hits it, the ball flies, flies over water, bounces, lands back, back in the hole, and then we loop, and if we had to press play, it's a perfect loop over here. Uh, yeah, to get that, instead of using actual trees, because that would make this, the, the scene really slow, what I did was I took a whole bunch of planes with like a shitty JPEG of a tree. And yeah, I mean, it does not look great, but it doesn't need to look great, because all we're going for is just to get the shadows. And so then, yeah, I just spent some time making sure that it matches perfectly over here so that it loops. Um, yeah, let me see. Cool, so the rest of the scene, uh, I just did some, added some grass over here. I think this is the first grass. Yeah, just some grass over here. And then that's the same type of grass as the grass that we have over here. So it kind of matches so that when it goes through little bits of grass come up oh yeah another thing that I did over here I, I'm seeing now is that on the plane with the grass uh, with all the main grass over here I added a collision deformer so let's see if we can find that ah, here it is so what I'm doing with the collision deformer is I'm using a sphere over here let me just turn that on a bit over here and so all that this is doing is it's moving down and then moving up with the with the golf bats over here and in the collision over here i'm adding it as a collider and i'm setting it as a child of the ground so now let's turn that off now wherever the, the sphere is it pushes the ground down a bit which is really cool Another little effect that you can add to this to make it a little bit more interesting is on the ball over here. So let's go to this ball. So if you had to look at like golf shots slowed down, when the golf ball is hit, it does have like an impact going through it. And because we're doing it in slow motion, you kind of want to show that. So let me show you how I did that. So let's add a sphere over here. Sorry, not add a sphere, let's go to our sphere. Let's add a bulge reformer say i think it's going to be plus c and let's say fit to parents let's see if i'm right yeah so that's what we want we want this kind of uh bulging at the top over here and then let's make this thinner like that i think you can see where we're going with this and now what we're going to do is let's set a keyframe over here then over here, we want it to just be a little bit 
and then let's make it go through. I think when I did it originally, I actually <laughs> went through and just keyframed it to make sure that it was going properly because uh, you see it kind of goes with the ball. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's just some quick keyframes of just changing the, the angle over here. But yeah, so now if we had to hide that, you'll see that when we hit it, it has this kind of impact that goes through it, which looks really cool. So then it's, it's just little subtle details that you add to the scene that make it look really nice. So yeah, I mean, that's the main effect that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, if you guys are interested, this whole scene is up on my Patreon with all the textures and assets. Um, yeah, it's a really simple tutorial, but I hope you guys learned something. The one thing that I really like about, you know, 3D motion graphics is that there's always so many different ways you can get the same result. Like looking at this originally, I thought that I had to do a simulation to get this looking realistic. And then when I was messing around with it, I was just like, it was you know, taking a long time, it was also slowing down the computer, then I realized we could literally just use a plane effector and we're able to get a really realistic result. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys did, give it a like, uh, maybe consider subscribing. And yeah, if you want to support the channel, you can support it on Patreon. If not, just watching the video does a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll check you guys next week. Peace.